Watch in today's program. A cat. Children. More children. How to find a heavy metal headbanger at a concert of ethno music. In 2008, Yarina and Volodymyr met at the Art Pole Festival and a year later they formed a band, which was called the Faulknery. What is remarkable, three years later Yarina and Volodya debuted at the same festival. The peculiarity of the band is that Yarina, the singer, uses authentic Ukrainian songs and Volodymyr adds a new modern breath of the world into them. In 2018, the world is waiting for the release of the second album of Faulknery. Why the world? The Faulknery are known and loved all over the world. For more than six years, the musicians have been on round-the-world trip on bicycles. Naturally, the culture of those countries they rode through was reflected in their music. Volodya and I have two favorite hobbies – traveling and music. On our first cycling trips, we rode from Kerch to Abhazia. Volodya, as he is a drummer, took such a small Indonesian drum. I was then singing in a band called Rojanitsa. I took their songs and we started to perform in the streets. Volodya played some African rhythms, I sang, and we saw that people liked it and they caught the drive. When we returned home, we decided to form our own band based on this music. The moment has come when we, having long-standing dreams from childhood, are increasingly thinking about why we are born. To go to work and live in a standard way according to the patterns that all our relatives in society are used to or decide to make our dreams come true. We only live once, so we decided that in this life it is worth trying to fulfill your dream. We wanted to see the world and we just took the first step. Although the first step was back in 2010, when two wheeled chronicles came out and we began to travel long distances, thousands of miles in bicycles. So given this, we decided to go all the way to Australia by bike. We flew to Cyprus and shot our video for the song Salvia, although it's really hard for me to say that this is a music video because it's actually a movie. Max and Marina are cinematographers and you understand what a huge scale it was. I hope that soon all our fans will be able to see it and you can watch it right now.
The most important moment of our creative development was in 2011, when we performed at the Art Pole. There was a little delay in the program, and it turned out that it was not the right time to act in the program. But since there was a delay, we came out at the coolest time, 9 p.m., and we were in good form. So we went out to perform. And the headliners said, ah, oh, what should we do? We were very lucky, and a Ukrainian concert promoter who works in Poland and brings Ukrainian bands there noticed us. He organizes concerts in Poland, Lithuania, and in several other countries. And since then, we have started quite active tours in Poland, Lithuania, Belarus, and Sweden. And one day I said, I really want to go to London. Oleg Skripka was very fond of us, and when I just let this idea go into space, Skripka's manager Pavlo phoned me a month later and said, we're organizing the days of Ukraine in UK, in London. Do you want to perform? Ah, yes, of course, we want to. Then things went forward. In 2014, we realized that we wanted to travel around the world more, and we went on a trip for three years. We take an authentic song as a basis to give it a new life so that it lives forever. In the end, it does not matter what language you sing in. The most important message you convey to people is in the lyrics. We always carry instruments with us – the drum, the wheeled lyre, and a small keyboard. Then we plug them all in and play. It's on the street, then in some pubs, clubs, or festivals. In the end, we did not stop playing music while on the road. On the contrary, we even started to cooperate even more. For example, in Iran, we met a musician and he played along, and we sang a carol with an Iranian there, a Muslim. We shot a video with him. And then in Indonesia, we recorded a song and also managed to shoot a music video. It comes even unconsciously. We hear some music and are always open to the various manifestations of the specific cultures of different countries through which we travel. We always observe these emotions into ourselves, and now this album is ours, which clearly conveys all these expressions of different cultures. In fact, it is inspired by all the cultures that we discovered for ourselves. Perhaps we do not even realize that now in the song we use some elements of the music of Southeast Asia, but it manifests itself somehow in the drums, in the rhythms, and in the sounds of certain instruments that are unconventional for Ukraine. In the beginning I would not listen. Music plays for too long. From the first seconds it is gloomy and then it sounds like Ukrainian folk songs. <laughs> something not understood. A magnificent era of Hurem Sultan. It is something like this. I'm used to watching videos in which Ukrainian songs are sung, like this one, but they were embroidered shirts. Here there is something so gloomy and strange. The song doesn't seem to be sad. It's too sad. Like about nature. A feeling that they're singing about tea, some kind of shamanism. A strange feeling, like it's hell. They sing like they do magic. You listen to the song and do not know what will happen to you afterwards. An unusual, fascinating one. Some kind of shamanism. Asia or Europe? Asia. Asia. Plants or spontaneity? Spontaneity. Bicycles or hitchhiking? Bicycles. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. Which countries were remembered the most? Iran. India. Heat or cold? Heat. What character trait would you change? Laziness. Stubbornness. What festival would you like to perform at? Wuma Delida. Wuma Delida. Meat or vegetables? Vegetables. Eternal paradise or reincarnation? 
Reincarnation. Reincarnation. Yeah. Eternal paradise. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Green. Oh. Yellow. Bob Marley or Guns N' Roses? Uh, Bob. Bob Marley. Tent or hotel? Tent. Mm. Maybe a hotel. <laughs> Yoga or running? <laughs> Yoga. Running. Wine or juice? Fresh yes. juice. <laughs> What is your favorite meal? Myanmar Mohinga. Avocado. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you believe that dinosaurs existed? Da. Yes. Is the earth round or flat? Round. <laughs> Triangular. <laughs> round. In July, we begin the next part of our round the world travel on bicycles. It will be to North and South America. And there we will continue a bit in a different format, but we will continue to create, perform and show Ukrainian music to the world. During our travels we want us to sound the same way as today. Well, Volodya, of course, does not like it. Because Volodya is a drummer. And he needs a drum set. He needs to rock it like this. And I suggest taking. Yes, I suggest taking a drum kit with us. And I propose to take him such kind of thing. Click and it sounds. Click and it sounds. And he says, ah, I do not want it. But I hope that I will persuade him and everything will be cool. Была мене мати в ночі, за Іванкові карі очі, ще й казала, буде бити, щоб Іванка не любити. Friends, our concert is over. We're very grateful to you for being with us. We say goodbye, but we'll be back. Yeah, let's meet either virtual or real, hugging, kissing, and singing different songs together. We look forward to seeing you the next time.